Kirk, Kirk, you look at the statistics um, for offense, mm -hmm. and you know, 130th in the country is the lowest amount of yards for a Big Ten team since you've been here, uh, 250. Why keep the same scheme? Why keep the same people calling the plays and organizing the offense? Well, first of all, I didn't say the same scheme, but it, it's not going to look radically different. I don't predict anything wild or uh, absurd there. I think we've been pretty consistent in our approach, really, for 24 years. And, yeah, we own it. We own the stats. Uh, the thing I'm most fo focused on would be the, the points, because that is what counts. Obviously, everything you do offensively goes into that. Um, but I just, uh, I guess, I look back, you know, we've had years like this, and it's not much fun, certainly, uh, to win eight games. That's no easy trick when you, you score 17, 17.8, I guess, uh, a game. That's not easy. But I'm optimistic that... Uh, I think I know the, the causes, as I just covered, uh, for our challenges this year. And I think, you know, I think we've uh, taken steps already in terms of addressing it. Uh, it's going to help us to be a more veteran line. Start right there. It will help us to be a little bit more veteran outside. And having two tight ends that you know, we think are pretty good football players will take some pressure off the guys outside. Uh, and you know, I think we've got a pretty good quarterback right now to help us. So you know, I think we've got the right coaches in place. I think history would prove that. Uh, you know, we've seen success with this coaching staff and plan on moving forward. I think we're, we're primed to have a, uh, a good year. Kirk, is it fair to say you still believe your way on offense works if you just have the right pieces, right? Because there's this narrative that you're going to announce sweeping changes and with everything. What do, you, what do you say to fans who are expecting sweeping changes? Yeah, I don't pay a lot of attention to what's being said out there, but I'm aware of things that are being said just because people are telling me. Uh, you know, I think a bigger part of the problem probably is how we play. And the, the Purdue game might be an illustration. You know, we got a pretty uh, sizable lead. We are playing good on defense. And, you know, really a major part of this you can just put on me because in my mind right there, it was about winning that game, getting out of there with a win, which we had not done very well the last two times against Purdue. So, you know, look to me, the way we were playing, the best, best thing we could do is play fairly conservatively, uh, especially after we got the 24th point. And unless we handed them something easy or gave up a big play, blew a coverage, something like that, felt like we were going to get out of there uh, with a win. And that's that's really what I focus on as a head coach. Uh, and you play every circumstance a little bit differently. We were over there a couple of years ago, and I can't remember the exact score. We came out on the short, and it was in the 30s, both ways, I believe. Uh, and their games are going to have to play like that, but that's that's really not, to me, winning football over the long haul. And I'll share a stat for you. Uh, you know, when we scored 24 points, coincidentally, uh, you know, an adventure, I guess, of our record last eight, seven, eight years. Hmm? This is the root of the problem, yeah. 55 and 3, which I think everybody would take that, but nobody likes the 24. So that, that's where the rub really is, in my opinion. And I'm more focused on the winning, me personally. Until somebody tells me that's not important, that's, that's where we're looking.